the rich get richer. Or at least the Philadelphia Eagles do because this D-line for them is oh, like getting Jalen Carter at you know in the draft here was just an absolute stunner. Whether well, it was at 9 or 10, what I can't remember. It doesn't matter. Either way, the fact that he fell that far was just absolutely just hogwash. Like this defense is just going to be nasty. Jalen Carter and Jordan Davis are going to tear it up. But there's a reason that uh, the Eagles steal the draft this year is Jalen Carter. It's because, again, this man fell past five. Like literally, I understand You know, there was a whole situation going on uh, with the offseason issues uh, with the crash and everything that he was involved. In. Again, prayers for everyone involved in that situation, especially, you know, kind of moving forward. But overall, you know, if we're just talking about a sheer talent perspective from this guy, uh, he's off the charts. And uh, I think he's the steal of the draft for a lot of different reasons. But we're going to go into the uh, the reasons why and a little bit of a background real quick for you. So three-year career there at Georgia was behind guys like Jordan Davis and Devontae Wyatt. Yes, we know all of that. Uh, but really, his junior year there really stuck out. So 32 total tackles, seven tackles for loss, and three sacks. Um, you you know, honestly, kind of modest production for being there at Georgia, but if you just watch the tape, you get it. You absolutely get the things that he brings to your defense. Uh, he's going to be that dude in the middle. And yes, uh, as far as the D-line here, you're really excited to see what he does with this D-line because Brandon Graham, despite the fact that uh, you know he's getting up there, just continues to bring it at his best year uh, in terms of sacks last year. He had 11, uh, so you're excited about that. Jordan Davis, who they got from Georgia uh, last year, is an absolute stud. I think him and uh, Jalen Carter are the absolute future for this squad. Super excited about it. So, uh, Fletcher Cox. I mean, seven sacks last year. Dude's been doing it forever. You're really excited about him, too. Um, Josh Sweat, 11 sacks last year. Hassan Reddick, 16 sacks last year. And then you bring in Jalen Carter, Nolan Smith. Like, just, like top, the guy clearly. There's a reason that we ranked uh, the, the uh, Philadelphia Eagles as the top D-line in the entire NFL. And the fact that they got Jalen Carter there uh, is just, uh, it's even more of, uh, I, I, like, a uh, just so questionable. I just can't believe that NFL teams really uh, overthought this one. So yes, uh, selected there uh, ninth overall in the first round this year. He is projected to be a Pro Bowl talent. That's absolutely great. But anyway, so we're going to give you the uh, you know the overview here. So when assessing a player's draft guide, we take into consideration areas like traits, toughness, explosiveness, skill level, potential for growth, and positional projections. Across the board, Carter checks out in a big way. However, his maturity will need to be vetted by each team as they make their evaluations. The the tape shows a defender with odd or even front versatility and a rare blend of first step quickness and leverage through contact. Uh, he's capable of finding quick wins against sloppy guard play and finishes the play once he's in the backfield. His hand usage can be violent or subtle, but the feet are always active in searching for an opening. Based upon talent, traits, and projection, Carter appears ready to step into the NFL and become a productive three-down talent with Pro Bowl potential. And it, it doesn't get any better than that. Like, yes, literally, they hit it on the head here. Like, you cannot be more excited about uh, the kind of how everything ends up here for the Philadelphia Eagles. Just top to bottom, this D-line with Jalen Carter is just going to be nasty. And again, I do think that the special thing about Jalen Carter is He's not going to need to start this year. Yes, if you have some concerns about maturity and all that kind of stuff, or maybe some technique, which clearly you don't, but if you have any concerns, he doesn't need to start right away. But the fact that he's going to be coming off the bench potentially, or you know, even if he is a starter, that's even better. But it's just like him and Jordan Davis, this is like, I can't even think about it. Like I'm a Vikings fan, so I want to say this is going to be the williams Wall. 3.0 like this is going to be so much better uh, than anything we've ever seen they're going to be just absolutely owning it in the middle and Jalen Carter is going to be a huge reason for that uh, but let us know what you guys think about uh, Jalen Carter being the absolute steal of the draft for the Philadelphia Eagles make sure you guys like and comment that's what helps people find the show uh, but also at the end of the day let us know what you guys think about Jalen Carter being the absolute steal of the draft